Alan. I know that there's lots of stories about canola and the processing and hexane and yeah. trans fats and blah, blah, blah. I've heard that story. You're telling me that it can be part of a healthy diet. What evidence do we have that looks at canola oil and health outcomes? Yeah, it's the most recent video lecture I just did on Alinea. So we've like multiple meta-analyses of interventions showing r improvements in blood lipids like LDL cholesterol, total cholesterol, APOB. But what's most interesting, although consistent with 70 years of what we know, is when you compare what canola oil is compared against in interventions, still better than sunflower oil, still better than olive oil, if we're talking about blood wow. lipids. But when it's compared to saturated fat, the in the most recent meta-analysis, so Compared to sunflower oil, about a seven milligram per deciliter lower cholesterol level in the canola oil group. Compared to olive oil, about the same. Compared to saturated fat foods, butter or whatever, 25 milligram per deciliter lower. Mm, right. Then you look at, say, the other two main endpoints that people talk about, inflammation, lipid peroxidation, literally, literally no mm -hmm. evidence that there's any adverse inflammatory effect or lipid peroxidation. And no evidence. Some, so, so let's just pause on that for like, a moment because like, that's a pervasive like claim, none. right? Multiple studies, either no change, sometimes a decrease. Mm -hmm. And there's even a recent intervention that looked at it on liver fat in women with PCOS compared to sunflower oil, lowered liver fat levels. But, but here's the thing. When I was doing this lecture, I was like, let's, let's just put our nutrition hat on and come back around. The nutritional comp, I think an argument can be made, putting olive oil aside because it has the extra polyphenol content, the nutritional composition of canola oil is very unique and incredible. Like, so olive oil per 100 grams would have 14 grams of saturated fat. Right. Canola oil is half that. It's mm. the lowest mm. saturated fat content of point. any oil. I didn't even know that. It has, of its monounsaturated fat, which it primarily is composed of, it has the highest oleic acid, what makes olive oil, one of the reasons, omega-9, has a higher oleic acid content than any seed oil and second only to olive oil in oleic acid By how content. much? By about like 10 grams odd. Like it's okay. a decent, let's say like it's second. But what it has that olive oil doesn't is a really high level of ALA, mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. omega-3. And that level of a ALA is like kind of on a par with some of these other vegetable oils or sorry, seed oils. But then it's got a lower, so it's kind of, although I don't read too much into the 6-3 ratio, it does have higher 3, lower 6, mm -hmm. really high 9. And then it's got vitamin E, vitamin K, phytosterols. Gosh, it sounds like a superfood. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you sold me. Okay. Um, so, so just looking at its nutritional composition, tell me how this is having adverse effects mm, in the right. body. Of course, it's not. Mm, All right. the evidence points to okay. a really beneficial impact. Okay.